I've been stuck inside in my house for a long time. Let's talk about all the art I've created. First little piece is this piece. It's quite a large piece actually. This piece is called Light. And it's called Light because it's associated with things to do with the moon and the sun. So obviously you've got the phases of the moon around the bottom. You've got the symbol of the light witch, you've got moths, you've got the moon, you've got light bulbs with creatures in. You've got the hair, you've got sunflowers. This is one of my favourite pieces I've ever done. And it was done using my trusty little circle tool, which I love. I love working in circles at the moment. It's one of my favourite, favourite things to do. Also, I use the Pigma Micron pens. And I use the Pentel brush pens. This is one of my favourite things to use. Next up, we have this piece. This piece is called Over Rhone Thoughts. And again, using my Rhone tool, my ink pens. And I just love it, it's one of my favourites. Absolute favourites. Let's move those out of the way. Next up, we have a crow skull. So, again, I used my pen and ink to do all the details. The paper that I'm using to do these is the Arteza watercolour paper, and it is literally one of the best watercolour papers I have ever used. So, for the, around the edges, I used the Windsor & Newton Cotman set, which my friend got me for my birthday. And I just used Payne's Grey and mixed it with a bit of yellow ochre to get the different textures around the outsides. Yeah. Next up, we have a cat skull. A cat skull mixed with a daisy and a sunflower, of course. Again, using the Windsor & Newton palettes and just my usual pen and ink on the Arteza watercolour paper again. Now, the reason why I draw so many light bulbs is I like drawing light bulbs for a start, but also my um, good friends in In Her Own Words, they released their album a year ago now, and it's called Steady Glow, and their album artwork is all based around light bulbs, and it is just the most beautiful, beautiful artwork you could ever come across, and the album itself, it inspires me so much. So, if you get the chance to go and listen to In Her Own Words, Steady Glow, I highly, highly recommend it, and especially the song Out of Focus. So here we have a little mouse sleeping in the bottom of the light bulb. Next up, have this piece. Now I was just experimenting with this one, so I was experimenting like with the black and white against just a pop of colour. So, adding a little bit of realism with some sort of like Zentangle sort of patterns. So, like the realistic flow of the really sort of pop arty sort of leaves. And the little beetle. And I love this piece. This is one of my favourites. To be honest, I just, I just like a lot of my work I create. I just I love every piece. Next one is we have a little bee again trying to work against the black and white with a pop of colour this one's slightly smaller 
than my other ones. And with the purple, I used the uh, Vintage Pastel Palette by Prima. They're very walk quality palettes. If you can get a hold of any of those, they're so good. They do lots like they've got um, like vintage pe pastel sets. They do a tropical set. They do a complexion palette. So if you're not comfortable doing skin tones and things like that, they have them already mixed up. So they are quite good. They are really good. Next up, we have a jackalope, and again, just the black and white with the pop of colour in the background. And like with the leaves, I was experimenting with like two tone leaves, so like a really strong black in the front, and then sort of like an off center, so sort of like like a split sort of texture. And the last one for today, I think, is this little foxy boy. Now this, I had oh, so much fun using this because I'm not really an artist that will go full out with colour. And I thought I'd try it and experiment with it. And I really love it. Like the folk art feel to it, the mushrooms, the flowers, the little lucky rabbit paw. Like it speaks to me on so many levels. So if you've made it this far, I have some little mini prints available. So I have this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one and this one. These are available on my Instagram at Pocket Poet Art. If you would like any of them, please feel free to drop me a message or drop a comment below. I also have one little pin button left. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.